It's like inspired. It's like take a gun and go shoot that guy. <laughs> I'm kidding. That, that's horrible. But that's yeah, how it's done. We how just joke thing. about it. It's like we're one inch away from like encouraging people to do it, but no, we we don't do it. You have someone else do it. No, no, that's no, that's a different type. It's just for fun. We play with the thoughts. We play with the most malicious thoughts, but we don't enact them. We could joke about them. We never. So we're basically what I seen. None of you, you guys would probably compare. Don't be so sure. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh really? Have you seen Daisy's Destruction? Is that a movie? Yeah. What? By a crazy oh, person. Oh, I'm in the middle of something. No, I haven't seen that. What, what is it about? Okay, um, I could probably get ready in like uh, ten minutes. Daisy's Destruction. I really wanted to fly myself. Okay, it's about Daisy. Like, I mean, it's I about the eleven one. Oh, a serial one. killer in Australia who had an assistant. Okay. And he lured people, right, he lured, he lured little girls into his basement uh, okay. and he beat okay. them with a stick okay. and mutilated their body and injected them for human experiments okay. and basically burned them in acid. Yeah, but was it yeah. Okay, that sounds yeah. nasty. I know, that's horrible. And the children are like five years old. I know, it's awful. It's so disturbing. What? Let's talk about it. No, I'm in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is one of the videos. Do you know there are videos online? There was uh, this thing going on with the American TV shows. There was a TV host who basically wanted to pay hobos money so they would fight each other. And he called it Hobo Wars. And basically... Oh, on YouTube, I think. Yeah. Or something. They put, pay them a small amount of money and they fought it out. Yeah, that was on YouTube. That's a, quite a few years ago. A fucking way to go to create ideas of the purge. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, basically shit like that makes me laugh and smile. Am I a horrible person? Yeah, but that's why they make it, because stupid people like to watch it. True, true, true. That's right. And you would watch it too? I guess. I, I did. Good, good minion. <laughs> minion? Don't you minion me? <laughs> what am I to you then? Okay. Be my minion, obviously. Okay, okay, that's good. And yeah, that's, that's basically. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is that is one. Okay, let me go serious about this because the laughs are gonna and never end. Um, okay, that's one. Then the other one was, uh, I can't think sometimes of thoughts like this. Holy crap. It's like, <laughs> it's like breaking apart. It's like, it's like cubic squares. Okay, let's talk about the idea. Okay, something really creepy, right, guys? Um, Illuminati video that was released by FBI through their cameras as they break into a cottage house and they see a guy getting exercised on a satanic pentagram and his blood is in the sink and all over the floor and there is goats beside beside the guy who's getting exercised and, and the FBI shouldn't have broke in to the cottage because why? Because the Illuminati now has a bad reputation. <laughs> With the FBI filming their their work. I have an idea. Leave most of the TI to the TI doms. Instead, focus on writing movie scripts. So I'm telling you, <laughs> there is a talent there. There is an ability. You need to start writing yeah. movie scripts. Yeah, I want to. I want. I wrote a book actually. I'm like Edgar Allan Poe and that stuff. Here, I'll show you. Was Edgar Allan Poe ENFJ, by the way? No, he was INFP. Oh, <clears throat> wow! I could. If he's INFP, I'm guessing like four five eight tri type. Oh, no, not four five eight. Four, five, eight. Nah, eight might be wrong. Four I mean, five. If, if you eight. guys are interested, I I had INFJs read my book. Any other type INFPs, and they said that it was fascinating. 
It was um, it was a book about a girl who got raped. She became a witch and she cannibalized on people in mountains as soon as they passed. <laughs> It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny until mountains. There was something about the punctuation of mountains, but it's like yeah, exactly. Blah blah so, blah 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 in mountains. In mountains. <laughs> in normals. Okay, ENFP. How are we huh? similar, and how are we different from what you see? Um, like I think you are more. I. I guess extroverted than me because like well obviously you lead with like Effie. Yeah. So I guess that would explain that. But it's I don't know. It's kind of different because like what you are extroverted, I introvert. So I'm like holding back right now. I'm just like, oh my God, this guy is like, gonna eat me alive, because you definitely have the Ian XJ vibe, where, you know, you just come in, and then you're just, you know, it, it, it's Blowing pretty fierce, it it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty forceful, and then I'm just like, oh my god, and I feel like you're gonna try to get my FI, and you're just going, to, like, eventually you're going to try to come in, and you're going to try to, like, stick your hand into me, and then just, like, rip out my FI, and get it out there, and it's like, FI is, like, inside so it's like it's difficult oh god no so. uh, no not no i wouldn't be that predatorial but <laughs> no no i wouldn't i wouldn't do that <laughs> no definitely if i mean i need yeah. more control over myself because i could be impulsive but no i don't want to be in it no. i respect people's insecurities and if i play on them it's just to improve them it's never to Never put anyone down, truly. Yeah, so I see. Okay. Well, I, you know, I see ENFPs on another side. Like people, I don't understand why, but this is truly what I see from ENFPs. They're like people who could easily be manipulated. Like, because I don't understand the, the whole vibe. Are you guys not as aware of the surrounding of what is going on? Like, of of how people can perceive your your thoughts as you air them out out of your song. <laughs> Effie is like um, I want to say it's like in our fifth slot. So, well, no, it it's in our sixth slot. So it's like all the way down there. <laughs> so um, yeah, we don't really. You don't want. To. I mean, You're we like, could. Oh, no, it's not that we don't want to. It's just that it's very challenging for us to use FE and be aware of how other people are feeling and how other people, people are, are doing what they do. People are doing what they do. I see, I see. Because I had an ENFP friend, and I just want to ask you, I want to, I want to engage you into conversation because that it is – the guy's kind of weird. Like he he has something that I want to question, and I didn't have time to question him because he's always busy. So I'll just ask you. He has this mood where he basically smiles like this, and he has black eyes, like really dark eyes, and he's smiling. Mm. And he would say something about his previous stepdad, and that he had ADHD, and that he went on meds. And that his previous stepdad was so crazy that he beat him up or something like that. ENFP. Oh, so I'm, yeah. I'm wondering, are ENFPs ADHD hyperactive people? Um, that would be extroverted intuition, which can often be mistaken for ADHD. But really, it's just that we lead with that. And what it means is that like we're very interested in like the external world I guess like we have like these external ideas so um yeah it's kind of all over the place because we're curious about um, everything so yeah yeah but, yeah, um, yeah yeah I get what you mean sometimes so, whenever we're really angry or we're really upset about something we don't really know it, and like we want to kind of contain it 
sometimes we'll just smile when actually we're really pissed off inside because we've learned that, you know, whenever we do share our feelings with people, um, people don't really like it. And it, it, we get into like this fucked up state of mind. It, it, and that's when the ERP is really angry or something or really upset whenever they start smiling and talking about something that upsets them. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Oh, I see. So they let, they start smiling. Do you know? Do you know that when when my friend smiled like that, like this, it was like, it was like that kind of. I thought he was the cutest guy ever, and you know, like I, I'm straight and stuff. But I came up to him and I started mm -hmm. like playing with his cheeks. <laughs> started to like pet his head and i was like i was like you're so cute man and, and then he's like smiling at me and i'm like i'm like playing with his beard and stuff like i got really touchy feely and then yeah that's basically what i did and and, and we won oh, thank you two of us yeah and the funny thing is no no i i felt like he was like a cute little uh you know what you call those furby friends for for real friends mm -hmm. And I, I kind of yeah. saw, saw him as that. So I just took him into my form of possession and just like walked away. <laughs> no, but no, in my mind, in my mind, in a cute way, like whimsical, you know, like ENFPs like to be whimsical. So I did that. And basically we won together. We won Katara. Is it called Katara, the game? The one where you play with the houses. It's Katara. We won Qatar together, and we started losing in the beginning, me and him. So ENFP and ENFJ make a great team as well. And, um, and the idea is that he looks like as if when he smiles with his dark eyes, I feel that's like heavy narcissism in him. But I, obviously not all of them are like that. Uh, I feel like he, he gives me a vibe as if he killed a person. Like as if he's hiding. Oh, wow. Is that possible for ENFJ peace? Like, is it possible for I them mean, to get so angry that they would like end someone's life? Yeah, Chloe, tell us. Have you killed anyone? <laughs> no, I haven't. No, not like that. No. No, I mean, like in general, like hypocrite, you know, looking hypocritically. Is it possible for your type to go? that crazy and be that angry. I, I think something would have to really upset us. Like we, we pretty much kill somebody if they killed a family member or something like that. But I don't know. But I think that's applicable for like any type really. So I don't know. Like, I haven't killed anybody. Okay, good. No, no, so. I'm just, no, I, I, I wouldn't. As they know before, it doesn't matter what, what goes into my mind. I just, just simply laugh at it. So, so if you killed someone, it's fine. Yeah. It's okay. It's not that bad. Yeah, okay, so, okay. No, it's not okay to kill somebody because, you know, you're hurting them. True. No, I it's know. It's a bad thing. I know. But, but no, just like throw hydrochloric acid in their face. That's because they didn't, you know. <laughs> holy water, clue. holy water, yo, holy water. <laughs> yeah, throw holy water in their face and then say, may the power of Christ compel you. Saint be gone. May the okay, Lord have mercy on your soul. Much. Suzanne, yeah. where's Suzanne? I ate her for I'm breakfast. Here. What's with your cam? It's off because I'm not talking. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Because I like him. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see what you mean there. All right. Uh, what, what are you hiding behind the box? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a thing. Like, I just picked it up and I was just like... <coughs> it's a shield. From yes. wait, but you could read people. You could read people also. Like when you see people, you could read them fully, who they are, what they're kind like. Kind of. How do you kind of? But I. Uh huh. It, it, it's kind mm -hmm. of an internal thing. Me too. Of course, internal. Yeah. 
Me too. I could read people too. I would say you're obviously.